I'm starting a new little project here. I'm going to attempt at building a coil winder. Uh, I've been wanting to do this for a while to try to make my own coils. And uh, I bought uh, the book that was written by. Oh, man, I can't remember his name. But it's Ignitions and Coils, and he's, he goes into depth at and then he has a coil winder in there called uh, the Sidewinder. And I modeled it up and did my own little take on it. And uh, I decided today to start with the gears. I'm going to going to uh, attempt the gears first. I didn't have any gear uh, materials uh, the right size, so I grabbed some aluminum blocks and I turned up a one inch spud on one side. And then I chucked chuck them in the Fisey collet here, and I'm turning that square diameter up to uh, make basically. So this is uh, the first one. This is the big one. Uh, 81. There'll be 81 uh, teeth on this gear. Um, 48 uh, pitch, which I have a already have a. Um, hob that I made for my um, little demon engine for the timing gears. So anyway, I am busy turning a square diameter into or a square diameter, <laughs> turning a square into a diameter. So I'm going to just set you up here and kind of let the chips fly and. And give you a, a scope, but I had already I put it in a four jaw and turned a one inch diameter on the other side to chuck on. So, so now I'm just busy turning. This 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 dock was a uh, long one way, and so <coughs> I'm running at uh, right now at. Uh, 1,000 RPM. Okay, I'm going to make a 200 dial cut. It's not going to take 200 until it gets into that step. I can kick the speed rate up a little bit. Not a problem. Let's pick it up a little more. Taking 200 at a time. I just want to see where I'm at, uh, size-wise. i got to go down to, let me see, here. Um, this is uh, the smaller one, so this one is inch 550 I'm going to, I want to shoot for. We're at 2 inches 150. So I've got a ways to go. 200. <laughs> The only thing about this is messy. It blows the chips all over. I don't have a. I've got a shield here, but just can't quite get a position to where I can see and still. Ah, finally, taking full diameter. A lot less mess this is now. Let's 
see, that was 150, so that took us down to 950, uh, 750. We should be at. We should be at 1750. Nope, actually 1840. So, take another 200. Actually, I'm going to take. Take it down around to my zero here. <coughs> Not quite 200. Oh, that's a very little warm. That's good. The heat goes into the ship. <coughs> But I was always taught that you want to get the heat into the chip and not the part. So, we want to go to 1H5, actually 1H542. So, we've got a ways to go yet. 100. We can go another 100. I'll go 100 this time. <laughs> Got to be careful. Well, aluminum's not so bad. But you definitely don't want to do that in stainless because if you did that in stainless, you'd have cut up hands. Aluminum's bad enough, but you shouldn't really be doing that. You should have a pliers. Pull it out of there. And I wanted to go to 542, and I'm at 570. So I want to go 28,000. So I'm going to go in 20, 4, 6, 8. 28. <laughs> Finish that. be the major diameter of the gear. Right on. Right on with the caliper anyway. That's close enough with the caliper. But now it's got a half inch spud on it again. I'm going to face the end off. set up here for turning in against the shoulder and I want to turn my I want to turn my uh, tool holder at a bit of an angle because we're going up against the shoulder now <laughs> you know, I'm gonna make sure I got clearance here a little more just setting a little little bit a uh, bit of an angle so that the the back of the tool doesn't rub. Okay, that'll do. Set my zero over here, and it's 250 in from there. So we'll just take about a 200,000 cut, and we're going to go in 250,000. 100, 250. Another 200. One, two, fifty. Another 200. One, two, fifty. Get out of here. 
Another 200. One, two, fifty. Let's just see where we're at. I got to go to 500. And we are at 830. 630. <laughs> One, two, fifty. That should be at 630. So if I go another hundred. I'll go 90. I'll trigger that. 80. I want 80,000. 1, 2, 6 sitting in the, in the middle of it. Alright. Let me get my mic now. I don't want that this diameter fairly close. We are at, I want to take off 52,000. So I'm going to take a 52,000. Finish that. 10, 20, 30, 40, 52. Now I'm going to slow my feed rate down a little bit now. And I went five, about five thousand beyond the, the depth. And feed out. That should do it. Get some of these chips out of the way. Now to part it off. And we want, oh, we want 130. We want to part it off. Yeah. Hard off blade set here. Actually, I'm going to bring that blade in a little bit. It's kind of set set out that ways. Let's get her lined up straight here first. And what I'm going to do? Just going to bring it up here and eyeball it straight. And push it up against tight, right there. Lock her down. And now I want I want to pull that blade back a ways. Don't need it does not need to be sticking out that far. So pull it back a little bit. Uh. Go back that far. Nope. Gotta go right to there. I'm just eyeballing the end of the blade to the center of the Stop here now, maybe just slightly beyond it, and then we'll set. We'll check the height here. It's good I get this tightened back up. All right, and I'm just going to move over to the smaller diameter of the two. Remember, when you're checking the height with a Scale. I can find my scale now. The smaller the diameter, the more accurate you're going to be. So, oh boy, look at that. <laughs> it's almost perfect right there. I'm going to leave it. Looks really good. So, I know that blade is 90 foul thick. I'm going to come up here and set my zero. move over my 90 and then I want to go I want to end up with a 130 or slightly over because I'm going to face off the other side so I'm going to go 150 100 and 50 right there we're still running at a thousand rpm here we go I got cold here in the bottle
when that when it does get too hot, the tool is going to grab a little bit. So you want to make sure that you keep that tool tool. It loads up on you is what it's doing. It welds up on you. Not bad, huh? <laughs> it's pretty straight. A lot of times, if you don't have that tool perfectly straight, you'll get a dish. It'll pull in. But it came out pretty good. And it's hot, I'm sure. But there's the blank. And what I'll do is I'll chuck on the 500, face off the back side, drill the quarter inch hole, and then we'll mount it on a mandrel and uh, cut the teeth in these gears. But I'm going to get the other blanks made. Same process. Uh, only I'll be using round stock on the, I won't have to, to uh, use a square stock because the two big gears are the ones that I didn't have stock for. So anyway, when I get the blanks all made, made up and I'm setting up the gear hob, I will come back to uh, videoing. Okay, catch you guys later.